Today's video will teach you some high-end skin retouching secrets to achieve perfect skin in Photoshop. It will also show you how to manually remove skin blemishes, acne and pimples from your skin. Lastly, it will show you the best tool to use to acquire best skin smoothing. By the end of this video, you will be able to do all this on your own and be a master when it comes to skin retouching. Kindly like this video if you find it helpful and subscribe for more videos like this. Now let's get started. All right, so we have our image over here. I actually downloaded this image online. I'm gonna create a link and then leave the link in the description box below so that you can download it and try your hands on as well. All right, so as you can see, we have some pimples and stuff over here on her face, some blemishes and acne. So we're first gonna remove that. So that'll be our first and basic cleanup, right? So we're gonna do this by pressing Ctrl and then J to duplicate this background layer over here. So we're going to zoom it in. So the tool I normally like to do this with is the patch tool. So I'm going to select it over here like this. And I'm going to zoom into the face. So this will be our first secret, all right? All right, so I'm going to come here. I'm going to circle the places that I, I don't want. Then I'm just going to drag it to the, the much cleaner area like that. That's one of my secrets. That's something I normally do whenever I'm about to start retouching, just to get a much cleaner um, image to start working on. So I'm gonna repeat this to the whole face. So just follow as I do, just circle around and then just drag it to a much cleaner area. This process takes some time, so I would advise you take your time when you're doing it. Make sure you just take your time and then step by step and then just clean your skin up before you start any retouching so i'm going to speed up this side drag circle drag to a clean area like that All right, so now let's zoom out and see whether our image is looking much better. So this is the before and this is the after. Let me zoom it in once more and then just check this is the before and this is the after. I think we've done a good job over here. So let me just go ahead and then just clean it a little bit more, just a quick one. Yeah, so I think this is enough. We have a good skin, a good enough skin to start with. So this is the first secret by just removing the um, blemishes on her face, blemishes and then acne and all the pimples on her face very fast and easy with a patch tool. So now we're going to move to the next stage. So uh, let me just zoom out like this. Now we're going to create our frequency separation adjustment layers. All right. So what we're going to do first and foremost is we're going to duplicate the layer twice once again one by pressing ctrl and j twice like this then we're going to name layer one copy as color and then layer one copy two as texture so what we're going to do now is we're going to separate the colors from the textures then we're going to work on them separately All right so i'm going to select the color hide the texture layer and i'm going to come to filter blur Gaussian blur. I'm just gonna leave it at four. Four point zero is okay at the radius. So we're just gonna select okay like this. And I'm gonna select the texture layer. Just make it visible. Then come to image. Apply image. I'm gonna come to the layer and then select color. And I'm gonna keep the channel as RGB. And then change the blend mode to subtract like this and I'm going to change or keep the scale at 2 and the offset at 128 the opacity at 100 I'm going to select OK if you want a quick way to do this I have this in my description I have an action I'll just play this for you simply so you can just check out the link in the description box below all right so I'm going to proceed by going to the blend mode over here like this and then I'm going to select linear lights as you can see, our image is back to how it was before. 
So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna put this in a group. You know, press and hold control. You can select texture layer and then the color layer and then just press control G to put it in a group. Then I'm gonna name this FS, meaning frequency separation. I'm gonna select OK. I'm gonna open this group and then select the color layer. And now I'm gonna zoom in to my image like this. I press it and hold in alt and then using the scroll button on the mouse. All right, so the tool I'm gonna to use over here is the mixed up brush tool. That's what I normally use. I'm gonna select this over here in the two column over here like this. And then there's the settings I use. So I'm gonna select this, just copy this settings that I have over here and then use it for your work. All right, so I'm gonna start on her forehead. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit more like this and then just make the brush a little bit big like this. And just gently brush, just mix the colors in like that. So one thing you should you should be careful about is not mixing the colors. Um, make sure when you're mixing the highlights, you're mixing only the highlights, and then you're not bringing the highlights into the shadows or the midtones. Yes, that's gonna make your coloring more consistent for you. All right, so just take your time and then just keep brushing like that. Just keep mixing it up gradually. So I'm going to speed this side up so that our video won't be too long. All right, so at this point, we are done. We are almost done with the face. Let's zoom out and then see how our skin is looking. Let's check the before and after. This is the before and then this is the after. This is the before and then this is the after. So as you can see, we have some skin smoothing going on with just this simple stuff that we've done so far. So we're going to proceed to the rest of her body. And then we're going to try to soften it up and then smoothen it up a little bit more. So let me just continue still on the color layer. We're just going to go ahead and then just brush. So now, this is what we are getting so far. Let me zoom in. Let's check the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. All right, so a lot of people ask me what a texture layer is for. So I'm gonna show you. So to get more smoother skin, or yeah, to get more smoother skin, we're gonna use the layer to just clean the texture. So we're gonna use um, the texture layer alongside the spot healing brush tool to acquire this so you're just going to zoom to the part some textures that you can't clean on it on the color layer and then we're just going to use the spot healing brush tool to just brush on it like this to get an even more smoother skin
all right guys so this is it's this is what we have and let me check the before and after once more this is the before and this is the after so you're just gonna go to your skin and then go to your image and then see the parts that end smooth or the parts that you feel that you have to smoothen it a little bit more and then you're just gonna use the mixer brush tool and then select the color layer and then just um brush on it and then make sure your skin is looking nice so that's basically what i have for you today i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you learned a thing or two from it thank you so much for your time thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video subscribe to this channel and then drop me a comment in the comment section i think i'm talking too much <laughs> see you guys in the next one bye bye for now